So someone, someone left a comment, and it was like attentional Christians warfare against witches. And like you know, we believe in God and we pray to God, and you know the book and blah blah blah. And then it got really long and proselytizing, so I just kind of ignored the rest of it. But they did say one thing that I thought was interesting. It was imagination is what we're missing. And actually, I couldn't agree with that statement more. Which you think it's blasphemy that I'm, I don't. I don't personally cherish your book, and I'm just saying it can keep you from using imagination and having a more intimate bond if you're not paying attention. If you just read a book and then you go about your day and and you think you have the solutions and you don't pay attention to the details, you're no longer in the moment, and every moment is a gift from God. So I'm just saying, have more. He's right. I have more imagination. I guess that's sort of my. Why, yeah, why I'm not really into it, you know, witchcraft has a lot more imagination, but being a witch doesn't mean you don't believe in God, and it doesn't mean you don't believe in the sacred, and it doesn't mean you're not a good person, or don't worship innocence, or you're just, you have these Salem, Massachusetts kind of um, mentality that's just really, really old, and it makes you look really, really foolish and and you're so full of hate and bigotry and that's actually not at all what jesus would do he probably partied with witches hello he's hanging out in the woods who the fuck do you think he's gonna meet in there right so it's just something to think about but good point with the imagination bit it's like uh, you say that i treat you like a book on a shelf I don't take you out that often Cause I know that I completed you Exactly So don't be that person Keep your mind open